Hey guys, it's Noelle. In my last few videos, I taught you how to start a bullet journal and showed you some awesome ways to customize it. But I noticed in the comments that a lot of you said you're afraid to start a bullet journal because you don't like your handwriting. First of all, you don't need pretty handwriting to start a bullet journal. A bullet journal is meant to be for you and just for you. So even if your handwriting is chicken scratch, as long as you can read it, that's all that matters. But with that said, I know that growing up, there were some things about my handwriting I definitely wanted to change. So here are some cool tips on how to improve your handwriting. Step one is to write out the alphabet as you normally do. You should write out your lowercase letters, your uppercase letters, and then write out the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The reason why I'm writing this weird sentence is because it utilizes every letter of the alphabet. When you write in a sentence, your letters are a little bit different than they would be when you're, you know, very purposely writing out the alphabet. Step two is to analyze your handwriting, and that means to go over all your letters and decide which ones you like the way they are and which ones you'd like to change. My A is fine, but I kind of want to change it because it's kind of angly and I'd rather it be a little more curvy. So I'm going to circle that with red and my B is just kind of ugly. So I'm going to work on that too. I'm cool with my C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. And then N is the same story as A. I kind of don't like the angliness of it. My R is ugly. Okay, every every letter is beautiful, but to me, that R is ugly. I feel like I have to work on my X because the, the diagonal part of it isn't in the center, if that makes sense, so I'm gonna work on that one. Y is fine. And then my Z, I feel like I just have to work on the top and the bottom lining up. I feel like my lowercase letters need a lot more work than my uppercase letters. And like I said, the sentence letters are a little different, so you should also analyze your letters that are in a sentence because when you're writing quickly and thinking about the words rather than the letters, your handwriting becomes a little messier. I have to kind of work on this transition right here. So that's that's also interesting, is like I, I put together my H's and E's, which looks kind of ugly. So I'm gonna work on that. But I think overall the rest are pretty good. Step three is to decide how you want your letters to look and you can either want to change something really small about your letter, like for my D, I just want to make the lines on the side a little, you know, straighter, um, and then you might want to change your letter altogether, like I do with my A. So here's how I want my letters to look. So I'm just going to highlight my new and improved letters in green so that I can reference them as I'm practicing later. Step four is to practice your problem letters. And basically that means to just start writing your letters the way you want them to be in the future over and over and over again, and over again, and over again. You don't want to watch me practice my letters for a thousand years, so here are just a couple to give you an idea of how to do drills. One thing that you shouldn't worry about is if you mess up while you're, you know, doing your drills, which is when you do a letter over and over and over again. Um, if you mess up, just continue on, take note of that, and just start doing it right from then on. The next step is to practice writing your new letters in sentences, and also thinking about the transitions. The key here is to go very slowly and be very deliberate about how you're writing. Because if you just write how you normally do, it'll be so easy to just slip back into how you used to write. Oh, dang, see? I started going fast and I accidentally put the H-E together again. So there you go. That's why you have to write very slowly. So when you're doing this, you should do it like 3,000 times. But since you don't want to watch that, 
video. I'm gonna do it three times. So just some notes for review, write slowly. It is so important that you write slow because if you speed through your letters and your sentences, you are definitely going to revert back to writing how you used to write. So don't rush, just take your time and get your letters right. And then practice. It's not rocket science, there's really not much to this. You just have to keep practicing until you get it right. It's not something that's gonna change overnight, so you just have to keep going and keep going. Also, you should do writing challenges. There are these monthly tasks that bullet journalers in the bullet journal community put together so that people can improve their handwriting. Um, they consist of drills and prompts and assignments that will help you hone your handwriting skills. And then the last note is try different pens. Writing with one pen versus another, your handwriting will look different. My handwriting is really bad with this pen. I'm gonna write just how I normally write to show you. But when I'm writing with this pen, my handwriting is not bad. And that's it. If you guys take any cool pictures of your new and improved handwriting, make sure to tag 17 so that I can check it out. And make sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all our bullet journaling tips and tricks. Bye.